Okay, everyone, welcome back again to another Robot Spirits review. And if you have already seen my slideshow video on this Robot Spirits action figure, the ZY99M Shadow from the Full Metal Panic series, um, you will know that it's most likely a close range combat type with some shotguns and an assault rifle. So let's just quickly move on. And um, the Shadow. Shadow, actually, let me just say that this is a exclusive figure. I got this for what? 119 bucks. Point nine nine. It's pretty much 120. That's a lot, but personally, it's worth it. And you know, things are only worth it when you really like something and you want to get or need to get something. So it's worth it if that's how you feel about it. So it comes in this sort of, you know, limited edition box, you know, the brown box, and then there is the original packaging for the Robot Spirits line. Now, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys exactly what this thing comes with. Let me just show you guys the back. Over here. I'm just trying to access the um, macro settings here. Okay. And um, you'll notice that you'll see the Blaze Raven to the back here and it shows this weapon here which it comes with the shadow figure comes with that weapon and it seems to me that it's not for this figure but for the blaze raven because in the package you'll notice that there is some hands a pair of hands a pair of hands that's actually blue colored and blue colored meaning that it's for the blaze raven and not for this figure itself okay so, uh, quick note here. So, um, this video is just basically about the um, content of the package. As soon as I can get them out, but I'll probably need them before I finish. And there you go, not too bad, not too bad. Got a hand there. Okay. I, I did take this out of the package already, so this isn't really a unboxing or anything of the sort. So you get your hands here to the side, and um, you got your main close range weapon right there. This is like the, uh, I think the scabbard, and um, this is the blade. It goes to the back. I don't see any um, plugins for it to be attached to the back. I did try to attach this somewhere around the body, but there was no pegs or attachments for it to be added on it. Um, same thing with the shotguns and assault rifles. I don't see anything that's, you know, used for um, attaching the weapons like a peg or something. Like that. There's two holes to the back, but it's simply like how this one has a, um, a little tiny hole here. It's the only one that I see that can actually go to the back. And even on the box cover, it doesn't show it with the weapons attached in the backpack or anything of that. Now, um, <clears throat> if you've seen this like on pictures and stuff like that on websites, you'll probably think it's like, like a very slim, slim figure. But in actuality, it's quite bulky in terms of, you know, it looks really muscular for a figure. And I think the um, Arbalas has nothing against this. And um, based on the wiki, it says it doesn't have a um, Lambda driver. So it's probably going to fall in the... Um, same category with the, um, I think it's the Falk, the dark blue one. Yeah, something like that in that area. And it actually looks something similar to that figure. So that is that. <clears throat> and um, like I said, there's the shorter shotgun. And then there is the original shotgun that's also for the Arbalest with the um, arm attachment unit. It flips there and can be, you know, attached close range. And I I think you can use two hands on it. Nothing else really moves on it. Um, the AR, the assault rifle, is basically the same one that you get um, from the Falk. And also, well, no, not from the Kadarl, I don't think that one. But the ammo clip does remove, which is kind of cool. So, what is that? That's basically it. And of course, your blade. And like I said, there's additional hands, but there is no hands that I've seen that fits um, holding this weapon over here. So it's kind of like you buy this figure and you 
should get the Blaze Raven if you don't have it, because this is going to come in handy for it. All right? All right. So that is it for this video. And now the next video is just going to show articulation and simple hand-wheeling weapons and stuff like that. Peace it out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Ciao.